All right, YouTubers and anti-nuke activists, this one is just off the hook. Off the hook. Okay, this is on the 13th of March, two days after the meltdown in Japan at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Sunday, March 13th, 7.02 p.m., Brenner Elliott sends this email out to a whole bunch of different people here, some familiar names, McIntyre David, Harrington Holly, Brunel Scott, Hayden Elizabeth, and some others. I'll give a screen capture of this so you can look at it. It says, OPA staffers, Office of Public Affairs staffers. It has been a very hectic weekend and a good test of our crisis communication planning. Thank you to the headquarters folks who sacrificed their weekends and their sleep to come in. And thank you to the regional folks who fielded a number of calls about our response and the impact of the Japanese situation on our plants. Some things worked very well. The blog was a great way to get information out besides our standard press releases. And NSIR released access to YouTube and Twitter by midday Sunday so we could do more monitoring of what information was quote-unquote in the public domain. Okay, real quick, I have to tell you about NSIR. That is the Office of Nuclear Security and Incident Response. This is from the NRC website. I'll give a screen capture to this as well. Director James Wiggins, he's the one in the documents, Jim Wiggins. And it says that the NSIR develops overall agency policy and provides management direction for evaluation and assessment of technical issues involving security at nuclear facilities and is the agency safeguards and security interface with the Department of Homeland Security, the intelligence and law enforcement communities, Department of Energy, and other agencies. Develops emergency preparedness policies, regulations, programs, and guidelines, so on and so forth. You'll be able to go there and read that if you want to. So that's who NSIR is. And they apparently can open up, here's how he describes it, NSIR released access to YouTube and Twitter by midday Sunday so we could do more monitoring of what information was quote-unquote in the public domain. They're watching what independent people and public citizens are posting up. And they have their own blog, it says here. Or they control blog or blogs, Pearl Blogs. Okay, reading along on the email. It says, please take the time Monday morning to review all the press releases that went out and the blog post as well. And as we know from the documents, the press releases are very tightly controlled Q&A. You don't get any real information out of them. So that's what they're wanting to do. Follow the press releases, which are very general and vague. Please take time Monday morning to review all the press releases that went out and the blog post as well. Please use these to guide any media responses you provide. While we know more than what these say, we're sticking to this story for now. Wow, okay. Stay tuned as the week unfolds. We anticipate staffing the op center on a 24-hour basis at least through Wednesday. Neil will be, will be helping us out in that regard, and we may need to ask for further regional assistance if we need to continue the full court press through next weekend. Okay, that's talking about the information suppression, a full court press. It's exactly what it was, a blackout. Okay, reading from the email. The chairman has a hearing, that's Jaxco, the chairman has a hearing on the Hill, that's in Washington, chairman has a hearing on the Hill on Wednesday morning, which will occur a lot of my time, and maybe the place where we really push out our message, okay, that's their version of what they want us to know, their Q&A, their very limited information that the public got. We expect fallout over this to continue for a time along the lines of, can this happen in the U.S., and what is the NRC doing about it? This is a marathon, not a 50-yard dash. While I'm, while I'm expecting us to need full staffing for a while and may ask that you put off non-essential time off, we also need to conserve our energy, so be sure to take time when you need it. Thanks for all your help. Okay, I wanted to get this one out and get it up on a YouTube video and let you see that a number of things going on here. Number one, as I've been clear in the documents and many times I've shown you where they're monitoring what, it's very Orwellian. They're watching what we say about it. They must see everything I say about them. They must know all about me. They must see all my all my videos, listen to my blog, because they do. They're very, they're very precise and very, um, what's the word, dedicated. I don't know what else to say about watching public media and seeing what we are saying. Alternative media, independent media, YouTube, blogs, everywhere. And NSIR is able to access YouTube and Twitter and give that feed anything related to plume, plume gate, meltdown, radiation, probably those kind of terms. And they send that 
to uh, these guys here so they can watch the NRC. So they can watch and know. And then they can respond and they say, put a blog up that counters that information. Send some people in under the thread to say that's not true or whatever. You know, right? That's how they're doing it. That's the control we're talking about here. And down here, they describe it as a full court press. It's exactly, look at Fort Calhoun when it got flooded. Man, that was a full court press blackout. BP oil spill, full, full court press blackout. Fukushima, full court press blackout, right? Big time. And, and here, clearly, uh, Brenner and it's, all these people know about this. They know exactly what's going on. They know they're hiding the plume. They know they're hiding the fallout. Because right here, they say, while we know more than what they say, we're sticking to this story for now. In other parts of the document, they say, we know all about Three Mile. We have the benefit of knowing about Chernobyl, so on and so forth. They're modeling for thyroid doses in California. There's presidents. The president has a worst case scenario run they're doing that they're not releasing to anybody. So very clear in, in these documents. It's very incriminating, very damning. So I get this video up, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, spread it around, man. People need to know exactly what happened. All right, Patrick Penry, over and out.